Okay guys, in this video we're going to take your non 3.0 firmware iPhone, restore it to 3.0 or upgrade it to 3.0, jailbreak it, and get PDA net so you can get internet tethering for a one-time fee of $29 instead of a monthly fee of $30 for you AT&T people out there. So this is your iTunes screen right here. This box for you should say update not check for update because you should not be on 3.0. I am on 3.0, that is why mine says check for update. So I'm going to click restore, but everyone else should be clicking here for update. So I'm going to click restore, it's going to ask us to back up, we want to do that, and then we want to restore our iPhone. Yours is going to say update to 3.0. So therefore, yours is going to take longer because you actually have to update and download the 3.0 software. Okay, that took about four minutes, so right now you should have gotten a message about your iPhone will now restore to factory settings. Sorry I couldn't hit the record button in time to catch that message on screen, but right now the loading bar on my iPhone went all the way through, and I've got the solid Apple logo. Basically what we're waiting for now is for it to show back up in iTunes as a brand new iPhone, and then I'll restore from my backup so I keep all my data. And then we will jailbreak it after that point. So as soon as it's back up, I'll be right back. Okay, so iTunes has recognized that a random iPhone has been plugged into my computer. So now we just need to come up where I can restore it. On the phone right now, I've got the uh, USB plug pointing at the iTunes logo. And now it says sync in progress. Not sure what it's syncing yet because it doesn't know who it is. It says iPhone is activated now, and it looks like iTunes Store is coming up. Great, here we go. So now it's going to tell me I can restore to the latest backup, which is exactly what I want to do, because I want all my data. This will not back up my jailbroken apps if you were jailbroken before. They are gone. So now we're going to go ahead and restore that backup. So I'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay, we're almost done here. It's finishing up the last of the restore. There it goes and the iPhone is restarting and here's that message that came up earlier that I didn't get a chance to catch so it's just telling you the iPhone's about to restart in three seconds one there it goes iPhone is currently restarting iTunes is on hold and let's see what happens next hopefully the iPhone will come back up back to the way it was okay it's now disconnected from iTunes the iPhone is shut down it's now got the Apple logo and is restarting and assuming 3.0 is faster than 2.0, we should be started up a lot faster. So we'll find out. Okay, iPhone just buzzed twice, and now I'm back to my original battery screen. And there we go. I have slid to unlock, and I am now in my 3.0 application. However, I am noticing that absolutely none of my apps are here and now it is says sync in progress and it just exited out of that so obviously it does not feel like syncing all of my crap so uh, I'll just go back into my tab here and I'll do a manual sync which I'm guessing since I have so much crap it's going to take a few minutes so I'll come back in a second when the sync is done okay we should just be about done with our resyncing of all of the data manually obviously you can see I have only 3.4 gigs free out of 8 so I have a lot of data on here I'm sure most of you have more though <clears throat> so the restore you know can take some time it's been 20 minutes since I started making this video and it should not have been taking this long but that's what happens when you have a lot of data and you have to put it back on okay here we are back to normal back to the home screen on the iPhone so Next step, let's go ahead and jailbreak 3.0. So, what we need to do is head on over to blog.iphone-dev.org and look at their latest post, which talks about Red Snow, which is basically QuickPawn for jailbreaking your iPhone. It does not work on the 3GS, so don't try it. First thing you'll need, though, before you download anything, is you need to program a torrent client. For Mac, I'm using Transmission. There's BitRocket for Windows and some others or whatever, but you need a free torrent client to do this. Go ahead and scroll down to the second post here, the Troy Stray, I can't speak that language, whatever. 
and go down to the uh, official BitTorrent release of Pawnage Tool. Click on that, and that should open Pirate Bay up in a second here. Where'd that go? iPhone Dev Team. Oh, that actually straight downloads the torrent. Okay, so that actually downloaded the torrent. Yeah, Pawnage Tool 3. Point. Okay, so we can open the torrent file now and add that torrent file to... And act, that was really fast. Okay, <laughs> so Pawnage Tool is now downloaded. We can find it in Finder, which is right here. Okay, we will launch the DMG. And that will launch the installer to actually start installing Pawnage Tool. Opening. Mounting, finishing. Here we go. It is always, always, always important to copy the app to your hard drive before launching it. So, copy the app to your hard drive. And then launch Pawnage Tool. Now, going to get this warning message. going to say OK. going to have to click your type. Mine is iPhone 3G. Mind you, you need to have your iPhone on 3.0 to get here and plugged in. Go ahead and click that and click continue. Now it's going to ask us to select the firmware bundle. If you upgraded to 3.0, this file will exist. If you are not on 3.0, this file will not be here. Go back and upgrade your iPhone. Click the uh, IPSW and click Continue. We'll, we, we will now create an IPSW file that you can use to restore, place on your desktop. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Do you have an iPhone 3G contract that you activate normally? Yes, I do. I'm on AT&T. If you're on AT&T, choose this option. Now it's going to build the IPSW. Last time this took about 20 minutes, so I'll come back when this is done. When it's done building the custom IPSW file, it's going to ask you, has your iPhone 3G been pawned before? Does it have the pineapple logo? Not always do you pawn it and actually get the, apple, the pineapple logo, but you should know if you've pawned it before. If you have, hit yes. I always hit yes because I have always have it jailbroken. So I'm going to hit yes. Close pawn and show application, put your iPhone into recovery mode, start iTunes, and restore it with custom firmware. Now, the problem with this is we're going to have to resync our iPhone. So I probably should not have synced it before. Oh well. Click OK. Now, we need to put the iPhone in DFU mode. So, we'll go ahead and say, uh, hit the arrow to go back to the next screen. Now, click the DFU button. Turn device off. I am now holding the power button. I am sliding power off. It's going to detect that my iPhone's off. Press and, pow press and hold the power and home buttons. Now, in 10 seconds, I'm going to be releasing the power button. Right now, I have these held down. And now I'm releasing the power button. Still holding the home button. And getting ready to release the home button now. Successfully entered DFU mode. Close pawnage tool. Start iTunes. And restore with custom firmware. Click OK. Now, we'll go ahead and close pawnage tool. We'll go ahead and open iTunes. And iTunes should recognize our blank iPhone here in a second iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. Okay. We're going to option click on restore or what is it? Alt click for Windows? I don't know. I don't I hate Windows. Option click on restore. Now it's going to ask me to open an IPSW file. Luckily, there should be a custom IPSW file on our desktop. Here it is. And let me stretch this out so you can see it iPhone 1 comma 2 underscore 3 dot 0783411 underscore custom underscore restore. That's the file I want. Click that. Let it register that I have clicked it. Click OK. And now it's extracting the software and going to restore. So again, when this whole process is done, I'll be back.
Okay, your iPhone will actually give you the iTunes Connect. Don't worry, in a second it'll register and then reconnect. Once you get to the slide to unlock screen, you'll be back and you can actually go into your phone and see now installer, actually Icy and Cydia now. However, at this point, we want to restore to a backup. This will not erase the jailbreak at this point, it will just restore your phone with all your data. Do this and then manually sync because it's probably not going to work. There's going to be a part two explaining uh, PDA net because I did not get to it in this video. So we'll explain that in the next one.